Okay, here I have a silk that I draw to test out my BJT that I got online. What I have here, I want to use it as a switch so that it can switch a very high current on one side even though I just need to operate it at a very low current on the other side. That way, normal switch, if normal switch is used in situation with very high current, it will blow up possibly. So we use BJT for that. And for the demo circuit, I have, I want to have 200 milliamps running through this thing. And I'm going to measure that with a um, current meter that I will hook up in the circuit. So I have 5 volts coming out of the Arduino. So in order to get 200 milliamps approximately, I'll need to use 25 ohm for a resistor right here. That will complete my circuitry over here. Of course it's approximate because there will be a little drop for VBE right here. Anyway, it's 200 milliamps that I want for the collector current. So now if you look at the PN2222 data sheet, you'll see that the beta is 10. Beta is the current gain. So on the other hand, if you put in the base some current, it will be able to switch 10 times that on the collector to emitter. So I have 200 milliamps on CE. So it means my base current should be one tenth of that, which is 20 milliamps. So now all I need to do is figure out what kind of resistor I can put in here so that it can give me 20 milliamps going through the base current. And I have my VCC to be 5 ohms coming out from the Arduino as well. So in order to do that, I will need to know the VBE dropped before it gets to ground. And um, I can do that by easily looking at the data sheet again. So I have base emitter voltage for BJT in saturation. My current uh, one is 200 milliamps. So I go up this curve. And my normal operating temperature is 25 Celsius degree. So the point right here. Read on this side, it will be about 0.9 volts for my VBE. So coming back here, I know that VBE is 0.9. And this voltage right here is 5. So the voltage drop across the resistor is about 4.1 one or about four volts and I just use ohm law to calculate the resistor to be 200 ohm and that will be the resistor right here so that's the theory now we go to practice I have here my circuit wire all wiring up of course it's harder to see because of my wiring anyway so I have the BJT little guy right here. This is the emitter. Then uh, the collector, I think. Let me double check. So it will be EBC from left to right. So emitter, base, and collector. So the emitter according to my circuit is grounded <laughs> you can see the emitter is grounded collector is connected to 25 ohm resistor then a um, current meter and then 5 ohms so I know the order I wire up is different from the drawing but it doesn't matter so right here, this two wire is coming out from my multimeter. 
is in current measuring mode right now 200 milliamp DC current going through here so you can see it goes from 5 ohms to this side to 25 ohm resistor to the collector and then to the emitter and to ground and on the control side I have the middle pin is connected to a switch and the switch is connected to my 200 ohm calculated resistor and that resistor is connected to 5 ohms voltage from the Arduino so what's gonna happen now is as soon as I press the switch you'll see the current jumping to about 200 milliamps let's see if my theory works okay about 171 or 168 175 which is close enough so that's the demo <laughs>